How's it going, my friends and fellow Entropians? It's Cloak and Dagrish, and today we're playing, you guessed it, Entropia Universe, and we're doing another crafting run. Uh, but before we start this video, I wanted to ask you a question. I wanted to get you guys more involved in what videos will be coming out in the future and kind of maybe what order or timeline. Uh, the question I wanted to ask you, though, is I actually want to ask you two questions. One, do you like these type of crafting videos? Uh, so far, I've gotten pretty positive results, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to keep checking in. Maybe you guys are s sick of watching me craft stuff. Uh, my other question is, I was thinking about doing a blueprint quality comparison video. And what I had in mind was I was going to buy a, a level zero quality blueprint. Um, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, let me pull up my blueprints here. So like uh, most of these blueprints that I have are unlimited. And let's see here. That one's a quality 100. Or no, this is a quality one. I'm sorry. So this is the uh, lowest quality <laughs> limited blueprint that you can get. This is where you would start at. You know, this is the cheapest one you can get. It's a level one. And once it's all the way upgraded, it'll be a level 100. So what I wanted to do was basically get three blueprints that were the same. Uh, I was thinking probably explosive projectile one would be the easiest. And I was going to get one that was like a level one. I have one already that's a level like 54. So that's kind of a mid range. And then I was going to buy a maxed out level 100 one. And then maybe do like 100 clicks of each and see the difference between or how big of a difference the quality makes on the success rate of your um, of your crafting. So if you think this is a video that you'd find interesting, please head down into the comments below and let me know, yes, I think that would be a great video, or no, I think you should do something else and maybe insert, you know, whatever you think I should do or, or whatever. So just something I'm trying, trying to get you guys more involved. Uh, I like interacting with you in the chat, getting to know you guys. Um, a lot of you have dropped really good suggestions for videos. I'm working on them. Uh, I've been fairly busy, unfortunately, but they are in the works and they will be coming here, hopefully fairly shortly. But anyways, let's get into this crafting video. So we're doing uh, simple conductors one again, which is what we've been doing for the last couple videos. And we have 93 ped and 75 peck worth of muscle and eye oil. I have nothing else in my inventory, personal inventory. And I did clean out my storage of all the muscle oils or all the oils. And so we're going to go here and start crafting as soon as I find my blueprint. Here it is. And like always, uh, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to play, I'll speed it up so you, it won't take quite as long. Otherwise you can just jump to the end of the video and see what the st statistics were. Um, but yeah, I'll speed it up and, and play music for you guys. And we're going to just keep crafting until we run out of materials. Uh, we got 83 clicks right now, but we're going to recycle a couple. We'll probably have anywhere from 95 to 100 clicks, depending on how this goes. We're doing full quality because that always seems to work out good for me. I hate doing condition. Uh, it's a good way to throw a lot of pet away, but sometimes you get lucky and you make it big, but that's never happened to me. So we're going to just do it this way. All right. And I will be right back once this is all done.
All right, I'm back, and uh, I was watching the whole thing, of course, and I'm a little nervous on this one. I think we're actually going to take a little bit of a loss. We didn't have any significant large hits. Uh, I did see one. I think it was for over three pads. Let's take a look here at how we did. Uh, actually, so our failure rate was actually extremely low, but we also had a lot of just near successes that were very on the low end of the spectrum, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so we did have one that was almost four ped, and then we had two for that were almost two, but I don't think that's going to be enough to save us here. Everything else was kind of meh. Um, as far as skills go, we did all right on skills. Uh, looks like about a page worth. So overall, this probably has probably been one of the, the worst crafting runs that I'm going to be posting here. Let's... um. Let's check out the stats. So total attempts was 96, so I was pretty close there. Success percentage, 41%. I think it's been a little bit higher in the past. Uh, we got 29 ped worth of simple one conductors, uh, almost eight ped of an uh, muscle oil, three ped of eye oil, and then 16 of animal oil residue for a total of 57.15. Now I've mentioned in the past, these numbers always seemed off to me and a viewer confirmed that these numbers are just for the initial run it doesn't count in the recycled clicks which i don't know why they don't factor that into the session summary um it, it really annoys me more than anything so i i hope they fix that in the future but anyways let's go over to the trade terminal to see what exactly we ended up with as far as tt value goes so this is everything from that run 8370 so what we have 90 I think we had 9370 something um, I'll have to look back but 10 ped loss um, which really isn't that bad if, especially for such a short run um, usually I do around 100 clicks or just under 100 clicks um, and what I found to be true with entropy a lot of times is when you do short runs of anything, whether it's mining, crafting, hunting, anything along those lines. Uh, it's hard to make a profit. Uh, usually when you make profits, it's over a much longer um, time period or with larger margins. It's, it's You need to work with larger numbers to get those small small profits. So the last couple of times we've probably gotten pretty lucky and, and here's probably um, a little closer to what you could expect um, especially I'm fairly low skilled in the crafting. That's what I'm mostly doing this for is, um, to skill. I do make a little bit of ped on these simple one conductors. They do hold decent value, but I don't think it's enough to really cover our losses here. Uh, what do we got? Yeah. 30 ped worth. And I mean, at best we'd get, if we were really lucky, we might get 10%. So another three pads so yeah it's just it wouldn't cover our losses unfortunately um but that this is how it goes that's how entropy is uh a lot of in some of my previous videos people have mentioned all oh, this game is a ca casino and stuff and blah 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 uh and they're not entirely wrong but if you're trying to make money in entropy universe and, and i talked about this in my how to make money videos um you're not gonna do it crafting you're not going to do it hunting you're not going to do it mining unless you're really really lucky or extremely good with numbers and can really find uh, some niche way to do it the majority of people who make money in this game make it from other players doing stuff that is low risk things like trading healing services taxi services uh hairstylists and you know creating their own professions in the game that is how you make money in a trophy universe this is just fun this is, as much as I hate to compare it, it is semi-casino. Like, you go in, you put some money in it, and you don't expect to make money. You expect to have fun, and if you do, then you're really having fun. That That's what it's all about. So please don't invest money into the game that you can't afford to lose, because chances are you are going to lose it. Play with extra money that you got laying around, and sometimes you don't always have a lot, and sometimes you got a little bit extra, so... And, and that's what's nice about Entropia Universe is that you play it on your budget. You're not, you don't have to put in 
more money than what you want to. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for everyone who's subscribed so far. You guys are just smashing the crap out of that subscribe button. I just checked it this morning. I think I'm at 225 subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, every video I drop, it seems like the count is, is it's going nuts. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. If you haven't already, please join the others and subscribe to my channel for more Tropia Universe content. I don't want you to miss out on any of my future videos. Uh, then you get the notifications and stuff. Um, everybody seems to really like it and everybody's telling me I'm doing a good job, which I really appreciate. I'm going to keep making these videos. I love doing it. I love talking with you guys and being a part of the community. Uh, it's just amazing. Anyways, um, also, if you haven't already, swing over to my Facebook page, Cloak and Dagger Gaming, and follow me over there for my live streams. I do live stream in Tropia Universe a little bit along with some other stuff. Um, and it would just help me out a lot. I'm trying to hit that first 100 followers. So even, even if you don't want to watch live streams and stuff and you just want to help me out, I would really, really appreciate that. That'd be amazing. And of course, links to everything are down in the description below along with my social media and you can follow me on Twitter down there as well. So that's going to do it, my friends. And until next time, you have a good one.